Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Double-A baseball on the show, coming your way. It's the Bowie Bay Sox and the Somerset Patriots. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So just about set now. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. The 1-1. One -one. And a foul ball. The 1-2. One foul ball there. The next offering misses. Now two and two. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. In time to get him. One away in the strikeout. So digging in, Taryn Vavra. And the right-hander deals. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's at third with one away. That's a triple. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Oh, that got him. Well, a few things can go wrong when you are delivering a pitch. That grip, slip out of your hand, release point, wind up, all of those things. And I think it's safe to say at least one of those, if not more than one, got away from him. And now, number 12. Next pitch misses. Now three and one. And he deals. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Left field pretty well struck. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. He'll circle the bases, and they grab the lead. It's 3-0. Christopher Cespedes now at the plate. Foul ball. Still only one out here in the inning. Stays alive. You know, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Oh, and that deflects off his glove. Over to first. That's it, out. Number 21 will hit next. And here it comes. Fouls one off. Two and two. Left hand batter waits. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Bottom of the first, and now Jason Rosario. The Patriots in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. Ripped to short. Henderson picks it up, whips it to first on the run. One up, one down. So up next, Elijah Dunham. The left fielder, Elijah Dunham. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Comes the 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Henson. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. New inning getting started. And now the center fielder, Colton Kowser. And a foul ball. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning, threw a lot of pitches. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next pitch is outside. 
Left hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Dunham. Long run into the gap. And it's caught for the out. So digging in, Toby Welk. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Two balls, two strikes. Hard hit, right side. Yeah, and it goes down. just foul. 2-2 two -two now. Next offering is outside. 3-2. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. A solo shot, and they add a run. It's 4-0. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here is Brett Cumberland. The wine of the pitch. Nope, that one is upstairs. upstairs. Not Fair even close one. there. One Three point. and one now. The pitch. Hey. And it's filled up. The punch out there, and there's two down. And the batter will be the shortstop, Gunnar Henderson. Gunner Henderson. So now one and two. The wind and the pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And that is that. Welcome back. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um... I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. And here is number 10. The pitch. Strike two. I got to count two and two. the pitch and that's outside and that one fouled off well he got challenged with a good fastball right there just couldn't catch up and the righty deals on a second they get one on the first double play Everson Pereira digs in now. The designated hitter. Everson Pereira. The next nope. pitch misses, and that's ball three. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, two out walks are never good, especially when you're trying to get back into that dugout. But he's still in a good spot. He's just got to refocus and deal with the bottom of this order. Next to hit, Austin Wells. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Pulls it in on the warning track. Top half.
half of the third inning, stepping in, Taryn Vavra. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. One up, one down. Here's the left fielder, number 56. Number 56. Next pitch inside, two and one. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Down the line towards the corner. Nice grab on the run. Two away down. Two outs, base is empty. And now the first baseman, number 12. The 1-1. And a seed into center. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. That one the other way. That's a hit. So that's two straight two-out hits. Back-to-back -back singles, nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And here is number 21. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Two outs, and now it's filled up. Number 12, the lead runner out at second. Number 49 at first, two out of the inning. Out to short, Volpe handles the chance, fires over to first. That's out number three. As we go to the last of the third, now the third baseman, number three. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a base hit. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Next pitch downstairs. It's two and two. Kicks and fires. Here's the pitch. Runner around the goal. Ball outside. Bro, and they got him. The wind of the pitch. On the ground right side. In plenty of time to first. And that is out number two. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air. Maybe drive it into the gap. Line drive. Can't get their base hit. The throw into second. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. And welcome back out of the fourth. And now it's going to be Colton Kowser. Fly ball down the line. And puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And now Toby Welp. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch stays alive. One, two now. On the ground to third. On to first. Two up, two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. The pitch. That's down and in. Two down, nobody on. 
That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. In the air, left field, down the line. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. Safely into second. He's got a double. So the batting order turns over. And the batter now, Gunnar Henderson. That one ripped. And no one can get there. Cumberland coming home. The throw in. And he's out. That ends the inning, but they do score a run here. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Elijah Dunham. In the air, right field. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one down. Now it's going to be Spencer Henson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. 1-1 one, one down. He swings and fouls one off. Righty delivers. Off the outside edge, and now the count is 2-2. Two and two. Next one misses, and it's three and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swing and a miss. Struck him out, and there's two down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Volpe. Ball to strike. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Next offering is downstairs. Here comes a pitch. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Ken Waldenchuk. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Now here is Taryn Vavra. Next pitch has popped up. One away. So up next, number 56. Number 56. Here's a 1 1. Good eye in that spot. The 2 1. A little out front there as he swings through it. Going to really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Next pitch just misses, and the count's full. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a ground ball to first. Henson steps on the bag, two up, two down. Two outs, space is empty. And here's the first baseman, number 12. Next offering upstairs. And a pitch. And that one is in for a strike. Back-to-back -back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, not in time. He's safe. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never trying to do that. Ah, he locked him up, and that'll do it. The inning is over.
of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, number 10. Kicks and deals. Going to count one and two. I got to count one and two. And the right hander deals. Puts it in the air out towards left center. And there's one away. And now the DH, Everson Pereira. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Next offering misses, and the count two and one. And that one a little bit high. The 3 1. And a swing and a miss there. The wide to kick the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. And here it comes. That misses the zone, and it's two and one. The pitch. And there's a ball. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Over to second for one. On to first, double play, and that's the inning. Welcome back. Now it's the DH, number 21. On the ground, right side, and foul ball. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And that's the first out. Here's the center fielder, Colton Kowser. That one lifted to left. Dunham on the move. Racing makes the catch. And there's two away. And now Toby Welp. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. On the ground, and that's just foul. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it makes the whole team that much better. And he walked him. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. Man at first, Brett Cumberland getting ready to hit. And now the lefty. And there's a curve through for a strike. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely, and I think if push came to shove. Ouch, that one got him. He had him 1-2, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the inning, but he just lost control for a brief moment there. It's not the end of the world, but don't let one mistake turn into another. Get your focus back right here. And a count, 1-2. and two. Center field. Base hit as he pulls up short. Throw into third, and he's in there. And a run comes in to score. No, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score tomorrow. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And he deals. Dunham sizes this one up, pulls it in on the run, and that'll do it.
and welcome back. Here's the third baseman, number three. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. To the right side. The throw to first. One away, bottom of the sixth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. The 1-1. One, one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. And now it's even up. And now the count filled up three and two. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. Two up, two down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. So the lineup flips over, and now the center fielder, Jason Rosario. Not close with that one, and yeah, that's ball two. Bounce to the right. Dives, and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it, and they don't get an out on the play. Now Runner at first with two away. Elijah Dunham now at the plate. Left field, number 56. Ranging into the alley. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Top of inning number seven. Now the left fielder, number 56. The lefty ready and a 1 1. Good eye right there. The 2 1. And fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Got him. And there's one down. Number 12, the next to hit. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. And the 3-1. And a foul ball. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Throws to first. And two away to start the seven. Two outs. Space is empty. And now the right fielder, Christopher Cespedes. One for three. In the air, out towards left center. Dunham makes the catch, and that'll do it. Set for the last half of the seventh, and now the first baseman, Spencer Henson. The wind and the pitch. That's ball two. The count. And another ball. The pitch. Late with the swing there. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Next offering is foul back. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Righty to the plate. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. 
That's the third. Well, collects it. Throws across the diamond and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Anthony Volpe will hit next. The 2 1. Gets the outside corner with that one. Here's a 2 2. Swings and misses. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Now it's the right fielder, number 10. In the air out to center. Kowser makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the eighth, and now the DH, number 21. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. At the play, Colton Kowser, and out number one on the grab. Now the batter now, Toby Welp. He's already homered here in this one. Toby. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball. The one, two. That's ripped. Base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. He put a great swing on that ball, took the barrel right to it. Nice extension as well. 105 exit velocity. That tells you everything you need to know about that swing. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Smoked on the ground a second. Knocks it down. He decides to hold on to it, and they come away without an out. Back to the top of the lineup. Gunnar Henderson digs in now. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number two. And now Terran Vavra will get a chance to hit. Number 21, the runner at third. Number 10 on second. Number 28 on at first with two down. That's through there for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The one-two. Good eye right there. And it's fouled away. The pitch. That one missed. Left hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. He's got it. And that is out number three. Pitching change here, number 44. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Out of the bottom of the eighth, digging in, Everson Pereira. The wind of the pitch. 
And that one in the air center field. And that's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. Now here is Austin Wells. Swing and a miss, and it's a full count now. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And the righty deals. And ball four, two aboard. Next to hit, number three. And that one ripped into right. Cespedes brings it in. Runner tags it second to third, not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. Two on with one out. Here's the second baseman, number one. And a 1-1. One -one. Grounded to third, could be two. To second for one, and it's a double play to end the inning. A new arm into the game, the righty, Braden Bristow. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Welcome back. We go to the ninth. Here's the left fielder, number 56. The pitch. And down on strikes. One gone here. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Number 12. Oh, yeah, Boog. He's on the brink of one of your favorite milestones. He's completed three legs of the cycle. I love me some cycle. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now the right fielder, Christopher Cespedes. The 1-1. One, one. In the air to left center. Base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Two outs, runner at first. And now, number 21. Here's a 1-1. One, one. Way inside, gets out of the way. The next pitch misses, and now three and one. Kicks and deals. Fouled off, he was late. Great RBI spot here, just gotta stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Got him looking, and that's the third out. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Jason Rosario. The 1-1. Gets it to first, and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Here's a speed threat, Elijah Dunham. Next offering is down low. The pitch. Now a pop up on the infield. Henderson puts it away, and there's two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. Lifted in the air, right center field. Paul 
rolls it in, and that's the ball game. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. 6 nothing is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.